going on guys do i got a story for you you ain't gonna believe this one i thought this was gonna be a decent video pull it out in fucking front of me buddy i don't give a fuck anyway this is a good one jtb if you're watching this fuck that doordash book i got a book for you man but you want to actually write this one smile jb you're looking good you know it's time for you to write a book here's how it goes all right y'all know serb right Remember that picture he put up? Remember the picture he said that that was him and his dog, Cerberus? That's where his screen name came from and all that shit? You know, I had forgot about this, but I had heard it before, but I, I didn't really remember. But then the more I thought about it, you know, him and dog served together. You know, I mean, the stories go on and on. But we didn't know we had a British <laughs> U.S. Navy. I mean, God damn, dude. Not only did you steal the guy's valor, you stole this fucking dog, sir. Why do you, I mean, you said his name was Cerberus. That dog's name could have been Butch. You don't fucking know. You don't rename another man's dog. That's wrong, sir. See, I was going to just come on here and talk about, like, I was going to mention Cherry today when Cherry was saying, why do they care? Why do they, oh, my God, dog said a couple things in Hector's chat. That's all he said. Cherry, you stupid motherfucker. You, I mean, do you not understand the people who hear you say that? They know better. They know better. You know how they know better? Because the Monday night that, you know, everybody found out he was missing, when Flex had said, you know, like, oh, he's missing for a day, you know, not only did they come over there and say it in the chat, they, they sent discords, they fucking went nuts about it. Then for the entire week, Dog was going to every place he could go, you know, you know, just wanting people to ask him questions so he could tell you that, you know, don't worry, the families in high spirits could serve, can handle himself. Even though Serb was in the Navy, but somehow he was running, you know, he knows all about boating because he was in the Navy, but he spent his time in the middle of the fucking desert with a dog. That wasn't even your dog, Serb. I'm telling you, you can't steal a man's dog. That's wrong, buddy. That's wrong. That dog might have been chipped. Fucking name and rename it Butch Cerberus. God damn you. See, that's the thing. Like I said, when he posted that picture, I never really even, when he said it, when he was saying all that, I was like, oh man, that's a cool story, you know? Because some of y'all right now are probably like, oh my fucking God, this whole time, you know, like, oh, Serb's a good guy. You don't even fucking know the guy. Everything he's ever said has been a fucking lie. Everything. He's uh, multiple personality, triple. I don't know. I mean, God only knows now. It's ridiculous. And instead of questioning him or calling him out, it was like, like Cherry saying, oh, dog was only doing it there. Nah, he did it everywhere, man. But then when Serb said something last night, he said... Oh, and I said, you know, he's like, I didn't say it. You know, almost the same thing he said before. Like, I didn't say it. Uh, dog said it. You know, I don't know what dog would say. He, he gave me a version of that last night. He was like, I don't know what dog said. I never went back and looked. Well, the point of it is, buddy, when you came back, you confirmed it. When I brought that point out, you said, and I quote, Oh, I just did it, you know, because, you know, you guys just go along with your narrative. Like, you know, more or less pushing us. But see, the problem with that is, sir... Until you came back and said all that shit, nobody ever even mentioned that they knew the truth. Nobody did. Dog was in the lounge several times. I mean, like the, either the day before that or the day before that when you came back. In the lounge talking to Flex. It's all there. And Flex was talking to him like, oh, is Serb all right? You know, he was telling us about how the Coast Guard was getting there and the boat was drifting off. You came back talking about how you were going to get a hold of the marina because of all this shit. I mean, dude, at this point. See, a lot of people might say... Well, why do you care? Why do you care? Because I just do. I'm a petty motherfucker. Get over it. But he puts it on YouTube. It's on YouTube. If you put something on YouTube, like this video right here, anything I say in it can be scrutinized. They could be like, oh, okay, he's lying about this. But I'm not. I'm not. Anything I ever told you, motherfuckers, like I said, anything I've ever said that you're like, let me question that. Let me know what it is, and I'll, I'll show you proof. If I lied and told you all something that wasn't true, especially, I mean... You know, those kind of lies, like, you know, I was in the Navy, yet I had a dog, but I was also in the British, sir. I mean, God damn, dude. Anyway, you can look at the, sir, you can find that dude's name. I mean, I'm sure he'd like to talk to you. I mean, the dude, think about that. That guy with that dog, he could have been out, like, I don't know, fuck, bombs, searching for weapons, drugs, biting people. Fuck, I don't know what they do. Either do you, though. That's the point. But, I mean... I would be scared to death every day. I mean, even if it was something I put up five years ago, I would be like, oh, shit, you know, it's today the day someone's going to see that and be like, hey, that's my cousin, or hey, that's, I know this guy in real life. That's not him. That's the thing about lying and truth. See, you can't prove the truth's a lie because they can, you know, turn it around. You, it's like, when you come back, 
you know, I guess on, I didn't hear you come back and talk, but I heard somebody else say when you came back and talked, you were saying like, I'm sorry, I, you know, you got, I'm sorry I made you all worry. Dude, if you were really missing, you wouldn't have came back and said, I'm sorry you guys are, I mean, that, that, I don't even know why I'm even entertaining that shit. We all know that's fucking shit. I offered him last night, I was like, let's do it. Let's get the Coast Guard on there. And the guy from the Coast Guard, like I said, he's not going to argue with you. All he's going to do is tell you why your story's fake and explain why you shouldn't do those kind of stories. You know, he ain't going to risk his fucking career going through there yelling and arguing with you. He's a fucking chill as fuck dude. Knew him a long time. Good dude. And like, he's, like he said, shit like that, you got people cheating on husbands and wives, and they'll say they're missing, and it'll cause a big thing. You know, it, it, it's just trouble. But it's like stolen valor, man. That's a fucking huge fucking thing. Even if you was, I mean, God only knows now, even if you was in the Navy or whatever, you're, you're taking another man's photo, and you're saying that was you and your dog's service. See, there's no going back on that. That this was, all, I mean, you've done that a couple times with that story. But you showed the picture and said, yep, that's me. And everybody was like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. I even thought that, sir. Like I said, you had me fooled. I was like, damn, man, that's a hell of a lot. But then you start thinking, okay, Serb's been a, he, he's been an accountant. He's met Ariana Grande. She was running around as a kid. Uh, he's, uh, what was he, in a banking? He was in like, a, you know, in the banking. He's, uh not only was he in the navy he also joined the british special forces and he was like moved up the ranks to fucking dude jesus christ sir i mean i would be so fucking embarrassed and people like yo dude that's another thing some people were saying yet yeah, like oh, there's only one dumb chick in the fucking chat i ain't gonna name her name on where she's not even fucking important enough to name she's just a moron at this point i hate to even say that about a woman but if you've seen the shit she said about me and my daughter fuck her but the point of it is she's like oh my god they're just there for drama but the thing about it was, when you thought you guys was in the right, when you really thought, like, you know, Serb was missing, even though you know you could have just told Flex, like, hey, man, no, Serb's really missing, but y'all didn't do that. You waited, then you finally sent it to me. Then, you know, me and Flex both was like, oh, shit, man, I'm sorry about that. We didn't know. Hope Serb's all right. Then, like I said, even after we knew Tuesday, we still played along. We played along the entire time because, like I said, if we said something now, the narrative will change. So when Serb came back and confirmed it and, like, everything. But where's Dog been, Serb? The whole time he was gone, every single day, all day, he was in the chat. I mean, not just talking about you. He was joking. He was always talking about you, though. He was always saying, like, y'all need serve here. You can't do simple math without him. Oh, it's serve here. He was he would kick Trader off the panel. Why in the fuck would you kick Trader off the panel? I mean, think about his channel size. I mean, you got Pedro and Trader there. And if you guys wouldn't fucking just, you know, letting Cherry say just absolutely vi I mean, other people in the chat, Jackie, fucking uh, Clark, Saturn, Walker, Texas Ranger. I don't even think that Saturn's a real Texas Ranger, to be honest. But you serve with fucking take. I don't know. I'm just saying. But why would you trade those two channels that, I mean, when you first started, Hector, like I said, you literally was doing decently. Let this fucking motorcycle get by. That's probably served. Like, you see, you all seen Top Gun when Tom Cruise was going to the fucking thing, you know, the famous scene on Top Gun. That's where Serb's going. He's going to go fight, you know, his fighter jet. they got a power line. You know, they're putting lights up here. Anyway, point being is, though, when you lie so much, you get caught, right? So, again, Cherry, I mean, Hector, why would you trade Cherry for Pedro and Trader? You might say, oh, they, uh, Trader comes in the chat every now. Pedro said, dude, they're never going to, you know, who would, why would they tell their people, hey, come over and check this out? You might say, oh, Pedro did, Pedro did. Yeah, but you, Pedro fucking regrets that, whether he'll admit it or not. Imagine some of them people come in there, all they hear about is Pedro sucks, Pedro buys the stuff, Pedro does this, oh, Trader does this, Trader does that, oh, Trader bought his, I mean, and Cherry literally delusionally thinking he's, you know, more, oh, I'm more important, I got more clout, you're talking, dude, it's because you're a fucking freak, but your days are numbered. Think about that. On YouTube, your days, you have sat there and we knew you were lying. I mean, I knew you figured it out Thursday because when you were trying to distance yourself from the serve thing and you, you when you were saying like, well, I'm not going to speak on the serve thing because I don't know exactly. Then, you know, even dog was kind of like, oh, shit. Or, I mean, serve was kind of like, oh, shit. You know, because Cherry was losing, you know, he was losing Cherry's full commitment by like, oh, yeah, serve and all this shit. Then you try to make it a joke because, see, you ain't got many people left, Cherry. You can't afford to lose no more. So it's like, I can't believe you've done it to Marcus, to be honest. I'm, I mean, you got one guy over there that's got balls, and you piss him off. I mean, yeah, he might come back and hang out, but he ain't going to forget that. I mean, see, you take his right. So the only way that can happen to have his admin taken, that means Cherry has either uh, Hector's password 
to StreamYard because no other person could take someone's admin rights except the channel owner. So that would mean, and that's confirmed. So that would mean that uh, Cherry has the password, which I think he does because that one live he did, he used uh, Hector's StreamYard for that. But even then, why didn't Hector just log in, take it back and be like, dude, I ain't doing that. Marcus is cool. I mean, you know, Marcus was on that panel, Hector, and he was saying shit like, Hector's my boy, Hector's my boy. And he even said, I'll fuck with Jerry. You know, I don't get it. He goes over there. I mean, if anything, Marcus should have just been honest and been like, yeah, Cherry's a fucking terrible person. Everything he ever touches went to shit. Hector has turned. Hector acts just like Cherry. Dude, you wouldn't believe how many people have seen that shit. I mean, like I said, the best thing was ever said. Somebody said that you were like, you were like Pedro. He was doing the same dance moves and all that shit. Then, when, uh, all that shit with Cherry just kept happening. You just turned into Cherry 2.0, 3.0, 4. Use all of it. But, I mean, I'm telling you guys, I don't know how in the fuck you can come out of this one. I mean, like the Serp thing, you all joked around. You know deep down Cherry is like, God damn it, because you know that makes him look like a moron. Then lying today saying, well, oh, they're taking, they're going off a couple of comments. Dude, he went around for a week on every fucking channel on YouTube that he could spreading that bullshit. I mean, all kinds of shit. And like I said, Sir put that picture up. He's told that story many a times. And that had, that was a month ago or so. But see, Sir, you know, people don't usually care enough. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not like a, a drama, which actually we are now. It's sad. But, you know, a gig community, we're supposed to be real people. You know, people don't call shit out, but... We, we always say we're real. You know, we're real people. If we're real people, why would we let somebody fucking just lie? I mean, look at the fucking lies he's caused. Veterans Day. People telling him, thank you for your service. And, you know, him telling the stories about the goddamn desert. Motherfucker. I mean, imagine that guy when he that dude finds out you've been going around saying that was you. That dude, he probably seen his friends. You never know what he's seen over there. Some, You know, he, he, he could have lost friends. Hell, he could be injured. We don't know. I mean, and here you are saying that's you. Jesus Christ. I mean, which I, I kind of knew that wasn't. I mean, I never did. Because I, I seen, like I said, I seen, you know, serving. For, you know, I've seen them. And I was like, yeah, you know, younger, you might be. That don't, I mean, nothing looked the same. It just didn't make much sense. But, I don't know, man. You really, that, that photo was for 2023, too, or something like that. That's when the photo, I mean, that could have happened earlier. But that, that's, dude, <laughs> unless you got, you, hey, you, you might have a time machine, man. Maybe that's how all this shit happens. You have a time machine. You can go back and two months ago you know that's that or what three years ago that boat went missing so you knew your boat was going to go missing so you came and talked to us in the future then when you get caught on that you're like oh my god you know i did that just to mess with them then why won't they leave shit alone why don't they just let it go why do you keep posting shit dude look at the community post there's been two community posts but when did they come out sir when did they come out after after you did that one, that was, you know, you poke at somebody, but see when people's got the truth on their side. See, Tracy said something in the chat. This is the last time I mentioned that fucking idiot. But she was like, yeah, you're in Flex's true character. Yeah, we did. It did come out. We don't lie. And anything we say, I mean, I, anything I've ever fucking told any of you all, if you say, I don't believe, tell me what it is. Like he said, he said, oh, you all been lying. Sir was saying that. You all been over there lying. I said, name one lie. Just give me one. Give me one lie. And, and, and open challenge, sir. Tell me that one lie anything i mean not just on flicks anything i've ever said anywhere show me i'm lying and i'll prove it to you I, I mean i ain't giving my goddamn social or my bank information but i mean i ain't the one saying i'm fucking money to burn i mean i ain't fucking hurting but i ain't rich but i mean I, i've never seen somebody lie so fucking much there is i mean believe it or not i don't know if you all can go i just found this out about 30 minutes ago i was like why would someone there dude it's people who's like they they've been bored in their life they not live the life they want to they like they want that kind of life so what they do is they lie and portray it. it's the internet all oh, these people won't know me because you know everybody's like oh serbs this serbs smart no he's not if he was so smart he was a banker remember that story cherry told about uh uber doing those loans see that's the thing i was in finance again you can go back and look you can see my picture you can see that i was you know a uh, sales manager i was a general man i ran the whole motherfucker but all that's there i can't i ain't just telling you that in line i can show you business cards pictures commercials radio ads anything you want to fucking see the point of it is if he was a banker why why didn't he point out like when cherry said oh you do the i, I get i think he said 300 from uber and it's free you just you know as you dash you pay it back for i mean or when you do uber you pay it back so i kind of thought about it and i thought oh well, that kind of makes sense i guess because maybe uh He's doing that, and maybe Uber's locking him in. That way, you have to work for Uber. But then I got to thinking about, it, like, you know, 
a lot of people leave Uber. So if everybody's going to leave, they would just do that and leave. But anyway, it, all you got to do to, you know, make that lie go away, I just typed, I was, like, well, I was like, that don't make sense though, because, you know, they would lose a lot more money than they would make because people would just get that money and leave. Even if you got to be diamond, you know, you got people that can steal an account, get that money and take off. But here's the reason why. If you Google that, Uber's own thing tells you it's equivalent to a payday loan. It has a very high interest rate. And that makes perfect sense. See, a high rate means it's a high risk loan. So, you know, if that rates, I think it, it's like 26 or 30, something like you're looking up. I mean, don't, don't, again, don't listen to me, do it yourself. But that's why they can do that. Cause if uh, one out of four people, you know, skip out on them, they're fine. So as long as three out of four, and that's gonna be hard to do in, in the gig economy. Cause I mean, you've had other apps that's tried that, try, try to do loans and shit. And look what happened. They've had to go out like moves or whatever. That's why, because I mean, it's way too easy just to like say, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm quitting the gig, right? And if they don't have enough of your information, I mean, you know, if, if you're doing it through the app, I, they can't even really put that on your credit unless you sign contracts and shit. They can't put shit on your credit just because you got that through there. I mean, for one, you know, you're successful. You, I mean, I'm talking about Cherry here. You got all these catering apps, you're doing all this shit, you know, you're making all this, you know. How in the fuck? Why in the fuck are you borrowing money from Uber in the first place? I mean, I ain't making fun of nobody's financial situation. If you if people need money and you've done that, I ain't saying nothing. If you needed it and you've done it, but what if somebody would have heard Cherry say that and they're like, "Oh fuck, I'm gonna go get this 300." That's all I gotta pay back. But now they find out they gotta pay back like 360, 380, and now instead like on Uber, if you gotta you know imagine that could be 40 fucking two dollar orders just to get that interest paid. I mean, I don't know you guys. I'm telling you, no one no one ever cares enough really to check your shit like that one i kind of did because like i said i have a finance background when i heard that i was like it don't make no fucking sense why would they give away free money when i mean why would they do that then i was like oh yeah okay maybe they're doing that to like get people to you know work for them but they would have the opposite effect people would if they you know once they got money now they owe if they go out and like work the first 300 and whatever is going to uber so they would just do doordash and shit if they needed the money because they know that see that's what i'm saying it makes no fucking sense when you you know break it down same thing with sir the more shit that he says, the more you break it down. I mean, because like I said, everything for a long time, a lot of the stories he told made no fucking sense, but who gives a fuck, right? But see, now, when you brought it over to the lounge, you jump flex, you fucking threw me into that shit. You sit around, like I said, sir, last night, you're at, what are they doing? But you're up on a panel talking about it. I came up when you was some, you know, more or less calling us liars and saying all that, even though you put a community post out. Then you got other people that says, Oh, they just came in for drama. Dude, you start the drama. Lies start the drama. You guys were all about that drama, laughing your all's asses off for a long time. Like, oh, yeah. Now, when everything you said is a lie, 100% fact, there is no like, oh, sir, what the motherfucker lied. He lied about this. He lied about the business. And everybody with any any sense whatsoever, after they had heard the shit I said, even if they didn't believe it at first, when they looked it up themselves, they would like be like, oh, fuck. They hear me tell Serb, like, hey, let's get that guy on there and, you know, let's do this. Oh, why would I do that? Why do you care? And he he, he backs off. Well, why do you care? Why do you care? Why you, you know, dude. Then it, it was like, oh, I, I had a family this. Well, if you, why didn't you just get, why didn't dog just say like, hey, he's, why didn't you just say like, I'm going away for a week or it's a family, you know, this or that. Why would you tell people you're fucking missing? Then when I say that, you're like, oh, I didn't do it, dog, but you fucking confirmed it. Why didn't you wear out dog and make him like, dog, why in the fuck would you, he's done that before, remember, sir? I don't know why dog would say that. I'll have to ask him. Then it goes away because no one really cared. But now, dude, when people says, oh, Serb's a good guy, Serb's this, Serb's, you, motherfucker, you ain't, no one even knows who you are. Like Reese said, you don't know, my, nobody knows. Serb don't even fucking know Serb. Hell, his, his own dog wasn't his own fucking dog. That's wrong, man. See, I can take a lot of shit. No one's sucking my dog. I mean, phew, still a man's dog. God damn it. I don't know. You guys fucking amaze me. But anyway, like I said, when you ask about drama and why is people doing it, but yet, like I said, when you guys thought you was in the right, the drama was like, you know, when I say you guys, it's only about two or three fucking idiots. But actually about four or five. But see, Hector, you fucked yourself so bad, dude. You showed, I mean, see, you doubled down the blaze thing. You, you signed on to that. Now you double down to the sir. You guys look like fucking morons. And now you're trying to make it look like, oh, he's a fucking one. You fucked with everybody. Ask Bobby how he felt. Ask Eric how he felt. Look at Eric. I mean, like I said, Eric was driving around looking like the dude had I me. Mean, he's worried about his friends. That's all he talked about. Now he looks like an idiot. I mean, sir lied. Now if Eric looks at information, he lives there, Eric. God damn, you should have known that, dude. You live right around him. You would have known if anybody went missing on a goddamn boat. 
I don't know, man. You guys fucking amaze me. It's like when you, you, nobody knows the truth yet. It's the drama's fine. They kept that shit up. They're ramp now. They don't want to talk about it no more. It's like, oh, yeah, let's move on. Let's. Uh, I'm. Uh, uh, my channel is moving away from drama. That's what you said, Eric. Then I hear that you got Blaze on your goddamn channel. You fucking idiot. I mean, are you got Blaze? The guy who's you know docks people. He docks every you know. Uh, moving away from drama, dude. If as long as you got Cherry, as long as you got Blaze and Hector, Hector's fucking. And Hector ain't innocent. Hector, you know, you might say, oh, Hector, you know, uh, Cherry did that. But that's the problem. If someone's that fucking stupid or that manipulate, you know, if that can happen, goddamn. I mean, you can't be, you can't trust a dude like that. I mean, anything he, you know, anybody could talk him into anything. Everybody who knows Cherry. 99.9 .9 knows what he is. He's a trouble starting dickhead, cock sucking mother. I mean, all kinds of shit. I ain't got all day to list all the shit he is. But fuck you, Cherry. But what I'm saying is, everybody knows what he is. Hector knew what he was. Hector would sit there and laugh nervously, but now he's like, oh, I'll join in. That way I won't look like a pussy. But no, now you look like a pussy and a fucking idiot. Dude, I'm telling you, man, you must be. I'm, do you ever like sit around and think about that? Because every now and then I'll sit around and think, like, God damn, why do I even care about any of this? But then I remember, I'm a petty motherfucker. I told you guys. I got nothing but time. I, I mean, what the fuck, right? Man, look, I'm driving around a goddamn mall. I ain't shopping. I'm just driving around. I don't know what the fuck them stores sell, to be honest. I'm more of an Amazon type guy. Sir, was you ever in the Amazon, the real Amazon? Do you know Tarzan? God only knows what Serb's done. I bet you was in the Foreign Legion, wasn't you? Maybe Serb joined the Navy and they got him out of this secret task force. They put him in the British Army. He has dual pass, you know, he's a dual citizen. He, uh, he, he fought the Nazis in World War II. And he fought Germany in World War I. Maybe, I don't know. That time machine thing, Serb. But that's where you went on that boat. You went back in time. You saved the world. And you, damn, Serb. I shouldn't be bitching. I should give you an award. Hey, sir, leave that motherfucker dog. I mean, it's, it's not your dog, dude. Don't don't fuck with the man's dog. That's that's wrong, man. I can take a lot of shit. Don't fuck with my dog. So my dog, my dog's name is Pippin. Somebody says, oh, I, you know, sir, what the fuck? Dogs couldn't name it. Probably Spike. Spike. I mean, Cerberus, what the fuck? Dude, you should think ahead. You know, if you took time to look at all these pictures, if you found that picture, sir, did you not think that somebody else might find that picture? But I know, see, it's, it's a very, very rare, it's only one time, so he's thinking, oh, this ain't a big, you know, famous one. Doesn't matter, motherfucker. That search came from your screenshot, and it got to the exact picture. You wouldn't believe the shit you can find. Y'all have a good one, Serb. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, what are you guys going, oh, what do they, they care? Well, because Serb's not Serb. Serb's a fucking idiot. That's, that's what Serb is. Serb's a liar who don't care about nobody around him. Lies are one thing. Stolen valor... And again, stolen dogs? Jesus Christ, man. I can't get over that dog. You should send that dog some goddamn dog treats. Because that, that picture, you know, is 2020. That dog still, you know, you said he was like a good dog and all this shit. He's gone. You miss him. Motherfucker, you didn't even meet the dog. Send that guy milk bones or something. Chew toy. Send him a fucking chew toy, sir. We'll get him a we'll get him a stuffed, like one of them YouTube play buttons. We'll send that to him, sir. Y'all have a good one. I can't believe this shit. I mean, this video was just going to be about calling out like Cherry being about full of shit about, you know, oh, dog just said that two places. Motherfucker, he said that for days. Everywhere. Every place. I made sure people heard him. Then when, like I said, when uh, all that time dog's there, Serb comes back for that one day. Dog leaves one more coming. He don't say nothing. But then Serb goes away. Then dog does nothing but talk and call me Jade. Like, that's really something. Dude. I ain't, I ain't gonna even say, but anyway, now Serb, you know, he says it and slips it a few times, but the whole time when Serb came back, think about it, dog was around all fucking week, all week long, all day long, up to the night, every single fucking day, Serb comes back, dog's missing, very, I mean, ain't that amazing, dog's all up in that motherfucking chat, but it's hard to type being on the same panel, ain't it, when you're the same person, I don't know. I'm surprised Serb didn't try to say he was a dog, too. He could have said he transformed it. I don't know. I ain't going to go on me, you know. Like Twilight, when that Jacob dude turned into a... Sir, was Jacob based off of you? So you were Team Jacob, not Team Edward? It's okay. Edward's pretty cool. Jake was cool, too, though. Sir, go to PetSmart. Do the right fucking thing. Send that dog something.
Y'all have a good one. God damn, you some lying motherfuckers. Oh yeah, Cherry, go fuck yourself. Hector, you too. Sir, seek help.